Little Ken Spriggs here. Um, it has been a little while since I posted a video. Uh, the last ones that I did were uh, from Wonderfest, right after Wonderfest uh, in June. And um, a couple of reasons I haven't. Uh, oftentimes, right after Wonderfest, since I've done a lot of building right up to that to get things completed, I, um, I tend to be a little burned out maybe or try to recuperate after Wonderfest. So that was part of it. Um, July and August, I've been doing a whole lot of working uh, overtime extra hours with my job. Um, it's I won't go into what I do, but I do work in the healthcare industry and um, a lot of opportunities for me to pick up extra hours, very, very busy. So very tired a lot of the time. <laughs> so that doesn't help with your creativity. Uh, so I have been doing some things uh, working on my commissions and I'm still working on those in the background and I will be posting a video uh, of those here shortly um, but to try to kind of get myself back into the groove of it a little bit uh, a couple of things um, yesterday was uh, the birthday of a good friend Phil from Spooverse and uh, his motto is build something so I had sent him a happy birthday and I said, you know, in, in honor of your birthday, I'm going to build something. So uh, I also saw a little, uh, an email came in from Hobby Lobby that they were having a 40% sale, sale on their models. So <clears throat> I decided I was going to get a little model and just build something real quick just to kind of get back into the groove of it, get something completed. And because um, it's harder working on something like my commissions where you just get bits and pieces done, but you don't get the final final result you don't get the finale of the model which is the best part it's always enjoyable when you've worked really hard and you get something completed so to try to build my my uh modeling creativity back up again <clears throat> you can't force it you have to just kind of let it flow on its own i wanted to try to do that um i did buy one other model too that i might build somewhere down the road here shortly it's just another really short one so um so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh this this very short one day build all right so this is the model that I got from Hobby Lobby that I'm gonna use as my one day build. Uh, it was regularly $19.99, but they had a 40% off. It's very nice. Uh, that was also part of the motivation that I got a, an email saying that they had 40% off their models. So I thought, you know what? I haven't done anything in a while. I wanna go ahead and build something that's easy and quick. And uh, I didn't get this one originally because it's so small. But it is a nice tiny kit that I can build very quickly. I also picked up this set from there, which also was 40% off, very nice. It's uh, three round plywood little sheets. So it's about the right size for the model. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use that to display it on and throw on a little bit of scenic material to look like the desert and some rocks, that kind of thing, nothing fancy. But just something quick so all right so let me go ahead and get this open and i will start taking off the sprue and building it all right not much to it you just have your one bag of parts which have two sprues and a base some stickers I'm not going to use the base. I am going to use the little parts that suspend it so I can put it into my wooden base with a little bit of sand on it. Other than that, I'm not going to use the base itself. All right. <clears throat> I wish they had decals, but we'll see what we can do with these, with these stickers. I don't want to do anything really major with it. I will paint it, of course. I'm not just going to leave it this color. I'm going to make it a, a Vallejo steel, I believe. And some little bit of weathering, a little bit of dirt on it. But other than that, let me go ahead and do a time lapse and put this together.
All right, so pretty easy to build. As you can see, it went together pretty quickly. No landing gear. Landing gear is, is up. There's no options for it to be down. <clears throat> Obviously, <clears throat> no, the doors open up, no cockpit, no interior. Um, so pretty straightforward. It's nicely detailed for being such a small ship. Let me get some light on this a little better. There we go. Yeah, nicely detailed. They did a good job of miniaturizing it. <coughs> on the engines as well the engines are in two parts if you really wanted to you could put a light in the back you would have to do some drilling through sorry um, you're really not going to get any individual little detail because none of it's opened up so the most you could really do would be to maybe drill some holes down through and put a yellow light behind it but I'm not going to do any lighting on this as I said All right, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get a coat of the metallic on it. I will kind of see which one I want to use. I'm thinking of using Vallejo steel. I might even use chrome. That's a possibility. I might use chrome because <clears throat> it is pretty shiny. I mean, certainly at this scale, it wouldn't be that shiny, but that's a nice base color. And once I get that on, then I can do some weathering and that sort of thing so okay all right so I decided to go with the Vallejo chrome because it is definitely a shinier metal it's it's not you know at this scale it wouldn't be super shiny like chrome on a model <clears throat> they do have a, a, a second version of this which is it says silver I don't know if it's like chrome plated or it's just silver shiny silver looking but I didn't want to go for that one. That one was actually double the price anyway. So I wanted to paint it myself, but I'm happy with the way that turned out. I really like the Vallejo metallics. I think they're, they go on nice and smooth. They yeah, leave a really good finish. I'm trying to get a, sorry, some light on this. There we go, it's a little better. Nice and shiny, nice and smooth. I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to see about putting on the, um, the stickers first because I'm going to weather over those. I'm not going to do any, any drastic weathering, just a little bit here and there. Certainly some darkened parts in the engines in the back and things like that. Okay. All right, but looking pretty cool so far. All right. So the ship is still drying, it's mostly dry. I can handle it. But I wanted to go ahead and get it positioned on a base so I can get started on the base and then go back to working on the ship. So I took my piece of wood, plywood that I got from Hobby Lobby. I cut out a piece of foam, insulation foam, in order to, to measure it. And then I used a foam wire cutter to cut around some odd shapes along it. And then I used this little fire little flame it's really hard to <laughs> it's a nice flame took it around and um and just kind of melted down any of the rough edges so it has more of a smooth finish and then i took the um you can see the the ship is is on there but it's not permanent so what i did was i took the um i have the stand part and I used some, some uh, hot glue gun, first of all, to glue the foam down onto the wood and then to glue this post down into it. So that's in there nice and solid. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and use some Mod Podge. 
and I'm gonna mix it with some sand. It's just some cheap sand I got at Hobby Lobby, <clears throat> just to give it some texture. It's not gonna be the final, the final look. I am gonna use some sand on it and some other rock scenic material. But what I wanna do is I wanna get this coated over this entire base with the sand and let that dry and set up before I'm ready to go further and do some additional things with, with the base. And then I can return back to the ship once all that's drying, so, okay. All right, so this kit only comes with stickers. It doesn't come with decals, but the, the stickers, sometimes I prefer them. In this case, I do. Uh, sometimes they're really, they're really better than a decal, especially when you're talking about like these windows here. Because the windows are recessed, they went in very well. Just use an X-Acto and a Q-tip to kind of press them into place. And they seat very nicely down into that, uh, down into the, the openings there. So really, really like that. They even have, uh, for the back engines, they have some, some scorching, kind of a decal that goes around it, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, they have the side panels. And they go down fairly flat. They could be a little noticeable. If you look very closely, you could do a flat coat over that to seal it in, um, but I'm not gonna worry about it. And I'll put some weathering over top of it. But, um, but I definitely like how those windows turned out. I think those are pretty cool. Since they're not clear, they're just built into the kit. All right, so that's all done. I'm gonna do a little bit of weathering onto the kit. And I have the, um, the base drying, hardening. Uh, I also mixed a little bit of plaster in with the, um, the Mod Podge in the sand. And uh, to give it a little thicker consistency, put that down. So I'll let that dry for a few hours. And then I'll start working on painting that. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more weathering on the ship. And then once the, the base dries, I can do some final scenic material on that and then I'll be ready to finish this up all right so quite a bit of materials you can see going on I like to do it in these little boxes I get it from my uh, cat food that I order from the internet it comes in which is nice to contain everything so uh, as I showed previously I started with some Mod Podge mixed with some uh, plaster. I use a little bit of plaster in it and some sand and I got the general coat. So that dried overnight While that was doing it I did take some of this scenic sand and scenic rocks and I pressed it into it So I got a, a general rocky looking base uh, So once that all set up overnight, I went back and I added a little more sand and I used some scenic cement Which is this really thin cement and I put it in this little spray bottle It was an eyeglass bottle an eyeglass cleaner bottle but it works pretty well with it uh, and then I I sprayed it over the whole thing so I adhered a lot more of that down to it then I went back and I used some scenic material like this this darker green and then this more algae looking green and I used the thicker hobby tack glue which will dry all of this will dry matte so I put that down so it, it glued those little bits down into some places. I also took some of these little stalks that I had and I cut them down and I used a toothpick to put a hole in and put some of those down in there as well. Let's 
give it some character. And then went over it again with some more of the scenic cement. And, um, and then to finish it off, I took three different colors. Well, first of all, I used this skin tone to paint the, the uh, rod holding the ship up. Uh, then I went back in and I mixed some of that in this cup with some sand yellow. Thinned it out really well and then did a little bit of almost like a wash in certain spots. Then I went back and I added some of this dark earth. Did the same thing and kept it really thin. Then I just made sure to blend it in pretty good. So I got a nice, a nice uh, different shades throughout the sand so it doesn't look like just one sand color. All right, so right now that's still wet. I'm gonna let that all dry for a couple of hours. And then I will be ready to go ahead and put the ship on it and wrap up this build. And here's my completed one day build of the Bandai <clears throat> Razor Crest. And my desert base. The base turned out pretty good, especially for a quick build. Some nice contrast with the different colors. I like how that turned out. Uh, I really like this little kit. Certainly, I, I'd like the bigger one, and I have bigger versions of it that I'll build someday. But it is a nice little kit. It has a lot of good detail on it for being such a small little kit. It doesn't have the scale on the box, so I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. I'm not going to hazard a guess because I'm not quite sure. But it is pretty small, obviously. But it does have some decent detail in it, as you can see right there. It did a good job. I do like how the, the stickers turned out for the windows, especially. And you have the, the stickers on the side. Pretty good. And this is a snap, a snap together kit. I didn't glue it at all. Didn't have to, everything went on nice and snug. It did a good job of hiding the seams. Didn't really have any obvious seams, especially with the different machinery and the different panel lines within it. You can see one right there, but it's actually done kind of a weird little curving thing so it it mostly melds in with the machinery look and different panels. No landing gear. That would have been a nice little feature to have landing gear, maybe one piece that you could snap in and take, take the parts out, that kind of thing. That would have been kind of cool if you wanted to display it in a landed position. But not bad, not a bad little kit. Certainly a nice representation of it. Not sure if they would ever do a larger one because obviously it's not the main ship of the Mandalorian anymore. Spoiler alert. <laughs> all right, but very happy with that. So got that all completed in one day. I didn't complete it in the same day, but I, I got the kit and I got the different pieces. Late afternoon, started it early evening last night, finished it today. So in really less than a day, less than 24 hours. 
but um, but built the whole thing and the base within 24 hours. So I wasn't necessarily looking for that as a necessary goal, but I figured I could do it pretty easily as a one day build thing. So, okay. All right, so I think that turned out really well. Uh, and again, I did it in one day, it was 24 hours. I didn't do it in the same day, but I got the, the parts for it later in the day. And then I built it most of it last night and the rest of it today. So it was within 24 hours. Not that that was necessarily a needed goal, but I just wanted something quick, something that I could complete. Uh, and I really like how it turned out. I think it turned out well. So I might try to incorporate a few more of those in the future, just something really small, out of the box as it were, a little bit of painting, that sort of thing. So, all right. Um, but like I said, I am working on my commission builds and uh, once I get to a, an ending point, I will be uploading some video of that as well here in the near future. Um, but otherwise, uh, thank you to all my new subscribers and um, hopefully I will be posting some more things here more frequently now that I'm kind of getting back into the groove of things. Thank you very much.